Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Marcus Drake, a.k.a. d 187 from YouTube, and this will be my second video tonight. I already posted the one video about my crazy week, and so this right now is my the newest additions to my weapon collection as of what happened right now, and so I'm only going to show them one at a time, and so the first one I'm going to show is uh, it's my high point C9 9mm pistol. And that's uh that's this guy right here. Yeah, is that one I bought that one. Not a bad price for it, you know. It's a for it's affordable home defense, you know, real nice. Kinda big, but you know, it's 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 alright. There's no problem with it. You know, I haven't I haven't had it had to fire it yet, thank God. You know, I I don't want to fire it, but you know. It's one of those things if people put it in a put you in a position where, you know, it's either you or them, you know. Times are getting hard out there, it's getting crazy. And uh this one right here is gonna be this is my ladies' weapon. This is a Jennings firearm Brico Arms, Irvine, California. This is a thirty two auto right here. Real nice. Real nice, real small. I'm always playing with this one. I can't I can't stop. I'm always playing with it. And then um, this one right here, this bad boy, this right here is a, I'd say it's a ballet song style trench knife. Because uh, I, I can't really call it a butterfly knife. Because, <laughs> I mean, you can flip it around, but it's really bulky and clunky, so it's really difficult to flip it around, but... You know, it has a has a really big blade on it, half serrated, half uh, half straight edge, which is which is pretty cool. I mean, not too bad. And it has a like little knuckles on the on the front, so you could you know, do a little punch or something like that. But you know, that's not too bad. Not too bad. It's actually made by a company called Super Knife. You know, which is a it's, it's pretty okay company. I mean, they make a uh, I don't want to call them cheap, but they make affordable, you know, like knives and stuff, you know. You know, I haven't had any problem with this. It hasn't hasn't fallen apart on me or anything like that, so, you know, real nice. I, I, very durable. Really, really durable. And the, the last but not least addition that I'm going to show you is my, um, it's a new knife. That I'm, I'm having problems taking it out of the sheath for some reason. It's late. My my brain's not working. So please bear with me. And this one right here is my. It's a it's dark operational tactical first force or wait is it tactical force? No, it's dark operational tactical team. So dot for short. You know, this one's really nice. It actually has a very small blade, so I can, uh, you know, carry it and still be within the statutes of the law. Now, when I bought it, it says it was a Tanto, but this is not a Tanto blade. So, um, they need to change their marketing, or, or whoever's doing their marketing needs to learn the difference between blades. And, you know, it's really not that bad. It fits in your hand real nice, you know has a little in insignia of the dark operational technical team on there. You know, it's really nice. And so and it has the hard plastic sheath. You know, I'm starting to like the hard plastic sheath a lot more. I'm starting not to care for, you know, nylon sheaths anymore, you know. Because so much can go wrong with a nylon sheath. I mean, I know a plastic sheath may have its problems as well, you know. It may have its problems, but I mean... I mean, hey, it's easier to get out. You don't have to feel, fiddle with a button or anything when you're getting it out. So, in a collection, you know, these are all my these are all my new toys. Well, these are all my new toys. Although I'm gonna have a have fun with that one too. So yeah, this is my second video for tonight, and I will upload the third one shortly. And you guys have a have a great morning. All right.